Hey everybody, it's Separation. Welcome back for more Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. In the last part, we got on the egg carrier, Tails forgot to install landing gear, and we made it through the incredibly evil uh, sky deck. In this part, we'll be heading on up to the bridge to check out what just what Eggman is up to. Or, we'll be heading to the bridge, but... First, we have uh, more cutscene to go through, so yeah. I'll see you guys on the other side of the cutscene. Sonic! Ha! They're too late! Not the birdie! Chaos Emeralds! No way! Be gone, all of you! This is all I really need! Gabba! What is your wish, Master Robotnik? Here we go, another uh, character battle. This one is against uh, Gamma. And uh, as you saw in Knuckles, these fights are really a joke. Resistance is futile. So, yeah, three hits, he's dead. So, more cutscene. So yeah, apparently, uh, well, now we can play with E-102 Gamma, but, yeah, I never understood why exactly the ship's going down. Anyway, time for pointless cutscene. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. So yeah, basically you're right in front of the door whenever you get one of those cutscenes. And hit this, brings up a trail of rings, and booyah, up here. Now you just sit in the big comfy chair, and press this little switch. And it's basically the cutscene from earlier except in reverse now. So, switches the ship back to normal. Emergency alert has been cancelled. Resuming monorail operation. Yeah, what's that thing said? So, yeah, now we can get over to where Eggman is. So, we just take this little bridge and... More cutscene yet again! Oh no! Not again! Chaos! Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes! Attack Sonic! Now! Froggy? 
I must say Froggy! If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail. You won't get away with this, you madman! I will! You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet. Okay, Chaos, destroy them all immediately! Here we go, our boss battle against Chaos 6. Yeah, this is a pretty easy boss fight. And of course, as I say that, I actually take damage from him. Okay, you want to hit these little ice shooting things, and then hit them. No way! I can't believe this. And throw another, and hit them again. No way! That's all there is to this fight. So, just wait for him to throw them. Hit it. Throw it at him. No way! I can't believe this. Think this should be the last hit it takes, and yep, he is dead. 45 seconds. Like I said, really easy boss fight. And uh, that's the last chaos fight in Sonic Story. So, yeah, we're done with chaos in this story. Anyway, time for more cutscene. No way! I can't believe this! Sonic! Hey there, Knuckles. Glad you finally made it. I thought you got lost or something. Until we meet again, Sonic! Stop! Come back here! I hate Eggman. Where's this? Light. I think it's trying to show me something. Now you can play with Big, the worst character in the game. Anyway, yeah, it's time for my least favorite level, Lost World. Ugh, I don't like this level. It is uh, really annoying. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't like this level because of one specific part of the level, which I'll make note of when we get to it. As far as the music in this level, though, the music in this level is amazing. It's really dark and really edgy. It just, it really stands out from the other piece of music, and I really like it for that reason. It just gives a sense of foreboding. Just this, you know, great sense of anxiety. And, uh, assuming for what the stage is, and supposed to be, uh, Lost Ruins and stuff, it does fit the stage really well. And here comes the part I don't like. Basically, for this part, you have to keep hitting switches to raise the water level. You, and then there's three switches that'll open, uh, a locked door, so... Yeah, you basically gotta ride the snake over to the switches that open the door, and keep raising the water level to get higher and higher. So... I can't really see. Okay, here we go. Here's the first switch. So now we have uh, two more switches to open the door. So, gotta continue on and get those. 
And now begins the waiting game, where we wait for the stupid snake to come back. Are you starting to see why I dislike this part of the stage? It's just really boring. Not to mention the camera doesn't really want to cooperate. But yeah, just this part alone makes me dislike the stage. After this, though, the level is not all that bad. But just this part really annoys me. Anyway, I'm gonna try to be ballsy here and uh, go for that switch over there. And it looks like, yeah, I got it. Okay. So now we have the door open. We just have to ride the snake one more time to get back over there. So come along, little snake. Ugh. Riding the snake. Good fun indeed. Obviously, sarcasm. I really don't know what much to say because uh, just trying a snake. Not much to say about it. Now we get on to the, I guess, second half of the stage, or let's just call it post snake riding part of the stage. Right. Um, I got a hundred, over a hundred rings. Wow. Let's see. Oh yeah, this part. So basically, it's all dark, and you gotta use these lights and shine it on mirrors, and somehow that uh, that lights up the stage. So that's all you're basically doing is just hitting lights and advancing forward. Like I said, this is not the most exciting stage ever, but I don't know. Once I get past that uh, snake part, it's not too bad, I guess. But, yeah. By far, it's my uh, least favorite level in this game. Well, least favorite Sonic level. <laughs> I mean, all the big levels are basically the least favorite, but... Anyway. Light speed dash! Over here. And I like this part, though. I will admit this part's cool. Slide down, collecting rings. I don't know. That's a really cool part of the stage. I forgot about it. It's admittedly been longer than it should be. Um, then, since I last played this game. It's probably been four or five months since I last played the game. Ooh, this part. Sonic um, taps into his inner Indiana Jones. It's kind of cool running from the boulder. You get a good sense of speed and stuff, which I really like. This lightning shield might be a problem, because for some, sometimes when you do the light speed dash and you have a lightning shield, um, which, uh, by the way, the lightning shield, if couldn't tell attracts rings. So we're trying to do the light speed dash. It can at times interrupt the trail of rings, and then you try and do the light speed dash, and it'll take you to your death. So um, hopefully that does not happen here. And I, I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Good job, me. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Supposed to climb this all the way to the top. Hey, if the camera would work with me, that is. Climb up, up here. That's where you want to go. And then hit that. Hop over here. Hit that. Man, you do get. I, I forgot how many rings you get in this stage. I'm already up to 284. What do you think? I got 24 lives. Do you think they'll be enough to get through the remainder of the game? I certainly hope so. No! No! I got it. Screw it. Restart. Take me back up here. I don't want to... And I died! Wow. Nice. Just what I'm saying, I think I have more than enough rings to get through this. I lose two lives. So... Anyway, let's try this again. Hit this. Go over here. Go all the way to the bottom. There we go. Admittedly, that's pretty jerkish of the game. To, if you get hit, force you all the way back down. But I guess since they gave you the checkpoint, you can just warp back to the checkpoint. It's not too bad. But it's still annoying. It's still kind of jerkish. So, use the light speed dash. Go in a loop. And... The end of the level. And now we'll come upon a recurring element here, which is you'll get taken back in time and uh, 
Well, I'll let the cutscenes speak to it for itself. But this yeah, happens with bad. every character, so. Enjoy more cutscene. What's this? A mural. What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird. So yeah, welcome to the ancient past. Every character comes here at one one or more points in their story. And uh here's some more cutscene. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? Eggman! What's he doing here? Oh, never mind. This time I'll get him good! Okay then. Um, I think it's a good place to stop. So, we got a lot done this episode, we fought several uh, bosses, we got a level done, and we uh, discovered a lot of story related elements. So, in the next episode, and probably the last episode of Sonic Story, we will be chasing after Eggman. See you guys then.